All right, keeping a close eye on that forecast, which is looking more wet as we head into the upcoming weekend. Live look outside from our harbor cam, just showing some sunshine and a few uh, thicker high clouds that are trying to stream into the area. We're going to see more of that here overnight tonight. Tomorrow will likely be overcast. Don't expect a lot of sunshine for your Friday. And then we've got to deal with this system here as we head to the weekend. Rain moving in as early as tomorrow night. Better rain chances, though, moving back to the forecast here for your Saturday and Sunday. Let's get right to it. Show you the system now. It's still getting itself organized out over the southwest Atlantic. It's what we call a potential tropical cyclone, meaning that it's not tropical yet, and it's not to the point where they could issue advisories on it, at least not the way it was in the past. But now that they issue these potential tropical cyclones, even if it isn't a tropical system yet, they can start issuing advisories and also warnings. So they've got tropical storm warnings out for a system that hasn't really developed yet. And that's really the reason why they have these potential tropical cyclones. It's kind of give you more of a heads up than what we would normally see here. And they started that several years ago, but that's a whole other story. But you can see the, the storm is going to make its way towards the coast as a strong tropical storm. That's the latest intensity track right now as it makes its way towards the North Carolina coast. The storm could end up stronger than this, and that would change our forecast significantly if that were to happen. But right now, we're just expecting a strong tropical storm to make landfall in North Carolina by Saturday morning, and then the effects from that system as it weakens spreading across Maryland. Now, again, the tropical storm warning, it includes all of really southern Maryland now, and it uh, basically extends from the Delaware-Maryland border all the way southward towards just south of Charleston, South Carolina. So tropical storm conditions expected here over a large part of the mid-Atlantic and southeast coast. Right now, 76 degrees. Here in Baltimore, we're looking at mid to upper 70s across the area. It looks like this evening it's going to be dry. Should be a very pleasant evening across the area. A little bit more humid than it's been and a little bit more cloud cover. And we expect these clouds to continue thickening here as the night goes on. And as we've been showing you over the past couple of days, the models were in disagreement on exactly the track of this system. Now they've started to come together on a solution of bringing the system right up the coast or just a little bit inland, which would bring us bigger impacts from heavier rainfall and also stronger winds across our area, hence the tropical storm warning in effect for parts of the state. So future cast showing the clouds rolling into the area overnight and through the day tomorrow. The rain's going to hold off until after dark tomorrow and it will spread northward, increasing coverage and intensity after midnight tomorrow night into Saturday. We're likely going to have off and on chances for rain here throughout the day Saturday and into the first part of Sunday before things start to wrap up. One to three inches of rainfall expected across the area. Heaviest totals will be east of I-95, lower totals off towards the west, towards western Maryland. So again, strong winds 20 to 30, gusts to tropical storm force, particularly at the coast, but we could see even tropical storm conditions in southern Maryland. One to three inches of rainfall, highest east of I-95, and the potential for coastal flooding and maybe a little bit of surge for some areas of the upper eastern shore, or, uh, the upper Chesapeake Bay, as well as Worcester County, where we could be looking at water rise of one to three feet, depending on the tide cycle. Here's a look at your first alert seven day forecast. Again, tomorrow's going to be dry. Rain chances Saturday and Sunday, and then we dry out as we head into early next week before we say hello to more rain the middle of next week. We'll be right back right after this.